Hey guys, this is John from Overground Comics. Uh, thanks for checking out this tutorial. Uh, this is going to be part of a series of processes you can use to try to streamline your workload so that you can get things done more efficiently, which for independent comic creators and artists is more important now than ever. Um, so uh, the first uh, thing we're going to do here is we're going to create a custom brush to help embellish this goofy little image I've drawn here. Um, now for the purposes of this tutorial, I drew this crazy little astronaut guy holding a phone. Don't ask me why. Um, and what I want to do is I want to embellish this image with cross hatching, but um, I don't know about you, I am not very good at it. I, uh, hatching is not my strong suit. Uh, I love the look of it, but uh, I'm just not great at doing it. Um, for hatching, for example, um, if I am um, going to work on this, uh, you know, um, helmet up here, or let's say the shoulder area right here, and uh, the hatching is a series of just you know little ticks with your um, with your brush there. And for me, I'm just not great at doing that. Uh, anytime I do it, it looks sloppy. I'm not. I don't have a lot of good control. Um, it's just not something I'm uh, I'm comfortable with. And so I, uh, what I like to do is I like to create a brush to help me do that. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. If you're the same as me and you want to kind of get around your lack of natural talent, so. Um, First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the pen tool and I'm going to create a shape with um, black fill and zero stroke. And then I'm just going to go to the right of the helmet here and I'm going to draw myself a shape. Um, I'm going to give it a little bit of a curve because uh, I like that in hatching. And uh, I'm going to make it a little wider at the bottom than it is at the top, obviously. And so there we go. There I have a shape for um, my hatching and what I'm going to do is I'm going to now um, load well first let me rasterize that and then I'm going to select just that thing I drew right there and I'm going to go to edit divine brush preset and I'm going to call this uh, hatch brush so now here we have the basics. Now you can see the, the, the brush on my pen um, is actually different now. And so we've got the basic of it. Now what we have to do is make it usable because if I uh, try to um, just use this brush right now the way it is, I'm gonna get something like this, which is kind of cool, but it's not really what I'm looking for. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my brush settings and uh, this is where you're gonna learn to really take your brush work to the next level. Uh, by using these brush settings, um, this is how we do it. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, change the spacing of it. I'm gonna get it to a look that I like. Then I'm gonna go into um, my shape dynamics and I'm going to change the angle. And I'm gonna set it to my pen tilt. That's very important. Uh, that's going to allow you to guide uh, how it um, how it moves with your hand. And for this brush, that's pretty much all I'm going to have to do. So now you can see, uh, I think you can see it, uh, when I'm turning and tilting my pen, the brush is actually changing with me. So uh, I'm going to reduce the size of it here. I'm going to create a new layer to keep this isolated. And then I'm going to just go in and start kind of messing around um, with this little hatching brush. Up here on the head, I'm gonna add a little bit of depth right here and you know, of course I'm not, you know, trying to claim I'm even very good at doing this. I said I'm not, but this just gives you an idea of how the brush works. Um, this is easily going to add some depth um, to your work and allow you to get a uh, um, a nice little, you know, hatch going uh, without actually having to um, master the art of it yourself. So, um, as with any tutorial that we do to, to try to help you um, to streamline your process, uh, we always want to uh, definitely mention and and not take light of the fact that uh, shortcuts are not any kind of substitute for just mastering the art. Uh, would it be much better for you to um, to actually just get better at hatching? Yes. Um, but uh, while you're waiting, um, there are things you can do to maximize your process.
creating custom brushes is a great way to uh, streamline your process and to um, to make the most of your time. Um, and this was uh, this was just a, a quickly made brush, but you can already see the the difference. Um, that it can make in adding depth to your work. Um, now again, of course, I'm not really thinking through this. I'm just kind of throwing some stuff down here um, in front of you just to show you how the brush works. Um, but over time, um, as you get used to using uh, your your custom brush, it really um, can you know make your your uh, your pieces really pop once you kind of learn how to. Um, you know, layer the brush uh, to to get different consistencies, different um, levels of, of dark, different um, you know shapes and tones. Uh, it, there's just no limit to what you can do with it. So um, go ahead and give it a try yourself. Uh, create a brush, um, make it any shape you want. Do something fun that that works for you that can help you be creative, and uh, and play with the different settings. Uh, we only used a couple. We just used the pen tilt and the spacing on this one. But there are other brushes we're going to show you in further uh, tutorials that uh, use even more functionality that can can really take things to the next level for you. So anyway, I uh, hope you uh, learned something and I hope this is helpful to you. If you got any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to try to answer or uh, point you in the right direction. So thank you for your time. You guys stay safe.